beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. A chill in the air here in Boston, much like back in Detroit, I'm sure. We're inside a week to the big day, but for the Pistons' Bruce Brown, he got a jump start on the giving season. You know, Bruce Brown is from here in Boston. He's very passionate about the city and the people in it. When Bruce Brown was in high school, he was part of a program called METCO. And what it does is it promotes public education, the accessibility for all students. And what it also does is promote diversity. So they bus inner city kids out into the suburbs where they can get a higher level of education. Well, last night when Bruce Brown got here to his hometown of Boston, he invited 11 students from his same high school and took them on a Nike shopping spree. Have a look. I love being home. Um, I always come home in the off season. Um, I'm here majority of the time when I can be All Star break, um, just to see everybody. Man. I just love being home. I, di I didn't have that opportunity in high school because I was at boarding school. Then I went to Miami, so I haven't been home for years. So anytime I get a chance to come back to see my friends, uh, see my city, it it's a blessing. And I actually did get it tatted on my arm. I got Fenway tatted. I always want to give back to, to people where I came from, where I was. Um, so it was just an easy thing for me, easy go. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm good. Bruce, uh, went, to, went to Wakefield for two years, was in the Meckle program. Um, I know the struggle y'all go through waking up early on the bus, going out to Wakefield, late bus. If y'all in athletics, y'all know taking the train back home, so I'm giving y'all $200 each. Nike card, y'all can buy whatever, get whatever y'all want with $200. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, what's the feeling? What's the feeling? What's the feeling? What people getting? What people getting? What you getting? So you getting kicks. You said I'm getting kicks. Yeah, I'm getting kicks. I got them drones in the closet. I went to Wakefield. Just a really typical inner city kid. Um, didn't care about much. Really hard headed. Um, went there, met a great group of guys that I call my best friends today that I'm always with. It, it just changed me as a person right. completely. Is there anything about your Wakefield experience you would change? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. I love Wakefield. All my best friends, I'm going out there actually right now after this. Oh, really? wow. All my good friends out there. Um, I need them to hear that. Well, yeah. I, I need everyone. You just got to embrace the experience. <laughs> right. You know what Nick's Yeah. Yeah, that's what I used to live in Woodrow Ave. Really? My grandpa was over there. Right on Woodrow Ave. What you mean? I'll, I'll wear anything. If you see my swag, I'll wear anything. I want the J's. Definitely means a lot, man. I, I just I know what those kids go through. Uh, so I just know they're struggling, and then I just wanted to get back to them, show them that somebody's there for them. Great. You know, the Metco education program dates back to the 1960s and clearly is making a difference in the lives of countless young people, including Bruce Brown, who's paying it forward. Students are here tonight to watch their favorite Wakefield Memorial High School alum. Will he be picked in our Ram Beat the Numbers game? We'll find out next.